Hey everyone, welcome back to Rotom Radio. This is Poke Jungle, and today I'm joined with Sam. Hey. We unfortunately don't have John with us today, but he will be back soon. We also have kind of a short podcast. We are really sorry for missing some deadlines here. We're new to the podcasting hobby, I guess you could call it. Um, But we do have some stuff to talk about today, and we're going to dive right in. So I think the first topic is the Pokemon anime. Yeah, so Pokemon Journeys. Uh, So the, the English dub recently started. I think it was this weekend it started. And yeah, just kind of wondering what's going on with it. Like I sort of I haven't watched it yet, and I haven't watched the Japanese version. But I've heard that the some people are quite disappointed with like the opening and stuff like that. I think that's a thing that anime fans are. They have strong feelings about. They have strong feelings about. Yeah. I thought they were gonna get that Netflix money and. Is it on know, Netflix? Get, like, I completely forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, I can get, okay, I'll watch it I then. thought they were going to, like, yeah, get someone famous, like, I don't know, like, the Backstreet Boys or something to do that <laughs> intro, but... Um, well, even the ending, so, like, the, 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 the Japanese ending sort of just runs through... I don't know how many Pokemon it is, but, like, it's kind of almost like the Poker Rap. And it just pops up the pictures on screen, but they just completely cut out the audio and just have some, like, <laughs> stock music with animation going on that's pretty well, bad that uh does sound unfortunate i i'm hoping for the best though i you know if if it appeals to young i don't know people scrolling through netflix and they get into the fandom like yeah that's great you know and i believe the next thing we want to talk about was pokemon masters right yes so i As you guys know, I'm trying to hype this game up every single time on this podcast. Now, here's the sad part. I spent all my Poke Diamonds, I don't know if that's what their official name is, but all my diamonds on the Wallace uh, banner trying to get him, I have not yet. So every day I log in for those 300 (laughs) daily login bonus diamonds that's going on right now, and I'm like, okay, this is the day. This is the day I'm going to get Wallace. Uh, it has not reached that day yet, but <laughs> I want to power him up and then finish the whole event, which I have liked so far, um, and just win with him on my team. But that's not happening, so I'm really sad. Is it just his event going on at the moment? Like, I know it had the, the scouts, is it called? Is it just his happening, or have um, they got others going on, like promoted ones? No, because Cynthia came back, and then there's also, like, oh. some, I think, like, a paid event. Like, you can, cho- like, choose a five-star sync uh. pair if you use paid gems. I believe. I believe. Um, I'm not interested in Cynthia that much. I think she's a cool character, but, you know, just personal preference. Yeah. I want... I want I I think I got Steven. I'm pretty sure I got Steven. So now I want to complete my couple. <laughs> what? <laughs> they oh shipping. That's what yeah. it's called. Yes, I ship Steven and Wallace, so I got to do that. Uh get them together in my game. Anyway, have you unlocked Silver um, and Blue yet? No, I'm on I think I'm like, this is a weird mechanic they brought in. If you have not played yet, you have to battle ho and you get tokens. And then you use tokens to, like, roll for different items. And then in those items, you have a chance of getting an unlock that unlocks the next part of the story. So I think you have to get four of those, and then that unlocks ho And then I think it's probably power-ups for that sync pair, silver and ho after that. Um, so I'm, like, on three out of four. So I'm going to definitely unlock it before it ends. Yeah. But, and I, you know, from a lore perspective, I've really enjoyed this because like it, it's totally different look at silver and like this is past events of, you know, the games. And so I think it's, it was definitely a fun thing to see like him in a different light. Yeah. Um, so I do recommend fans play it if they have time. Um, just just for the story, I guess. I do need to. <laughs> it's still broken on my phone, so I'll play it on my iPad at some point. But I think the last one that I did, the last story, was the 
second. Is it the second rerun of the Solo AO thing or the third? I don't remember. Oh, I think it was just the second. second. I think it just came back. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, I haven't. But I really want to get uh, Elisa. Elisa? I have no idea how you say her name with Rotom because. I think it's Elsa, the one that sings Frozen. No, not Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know she was in this game. Did you do a crossover? <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah Crygon all is her <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> I know, it's um, Galarian. What's his name? Darmanitan. The snow oh, god. One. But yeah, I really like all of the, the sort of pairs that they're doing, the sync pairs. I think they're all. Yeah, I got her Cygna suit, and that's one of my favorite pairs. Mm. So, just saying. She's default with. <laughs> Zip strike guys it? Yeah, yeah. I didn't like that. But no, her Rotom's a lot cooler. It's pretty um, good as well. Yeah. Anyway, I think we also have something else to talk about today. Oh, so yes, it's May. If you didn't know, it's now May. Uh, but every well, the past two years, so <laughs> two thousand and nineteen and two thousand and eighteen. The Pokemon Company have sort of held a press conference in May. And yeah, do you think they're going to do one this year? What would you like to see lined up? Well, who oh. who did this information come from? This information came from Pokemon Company, but we also have our friend. <laughs> we also have our friend Joe, <laughs> lovely Joe Merrick of Survey.net, who. Joe explicitly stated that there will be my boyfriend Merrick <laughs> uh, has so has said this. So basically, Sarah B confirmed uh, that there will be a press conference in May. So it does make sense, though, that we get one more info drop before the DLC. Yeah, I mean, it's launch, perfect timing. So. Like, there's been nothing on that. Well, since that last trailer and that trailer didn't really show anything. Mm-hmm. There's been nothing on sleep. Oh, that's true, too. We're almost at the midpoint of the year, and... And, like, even, like, the Go... Isn't there still a lot of, like, Go connectivity stuff that isn't in home and stuff yet as well? Or am I imagining that? That's true, too. Yeah, they need to update it. I'm sure, like, this health situation is really impacted, you know? Yeah. Them, but... Hmm. But, yeah, in terms of the DLC, what do you want? What do I want? Oh my gosh, that's such a deep What do you want? Existential question. What do you want? Um, I would love to see at least ten Galarian forms, which seems like not that big of an ask, considering what we've I guess for in part one maybe it's a big mm. ask. But you know, just they showed quite a few, like the Reggie trio, like the new trio or whatever, and then also the um original birds legendary yep, bird yep. trio so it does seem like they're introducing quite a few and i i'm hoping that they didn't like reveal the majority of what we're gonna get just you know in the reveal trailer yeah. but i'm also sort of wondering if so the the isle of armor isn't so much focused on the raid battles is it that's the brown tundra and i was sort of wondering yeah. if they would maybe considering doing a few more uh, Galarian forms in the Isle of Armor, and then leaving sort of new Gigantamax forms for the Tundra. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea, um, to be honest, just because there are different focuses for each. I mean, from what we've seen, we don't officially know exactly, but um, the tower, like the main draw of the first DLC, the tower thing, um on paper it sounds a little bit underwhelming to me like i'm just kind of in my mind it's kind of like i don't know i'm actually in my mind when i think about it i think of the sprout tower (laughs) (laughs) do you remember back in kanto (laughs) like just climbing up isn't the prize of it that you get cup food not no no no. i think it was no you get cup food and then it's evolutions decided ah by which tower you choose by what tower Uh, yeah 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 so we'll see yeah and unfortunately like we don't have a lot of time to drag its appearance today but sam and i've talked before we're not huge on cub foo i think it's the eyebrows and the mouth for me to do it yeah 
Skinny legs, and skinny arms for me. Sorry. I don't know what those feet are. <laughs> but you know what? That's the same problem I have with... Um... <sighs> I always forget its name, but Scorbunny's final evolution, is it Raboot? Or is that the second Cinderace one? Cinderace is the final. Raboot is the second one. Yeah, Cinderace. Yeah, Cinderace's hands are just too <laughs> small. <laughs> and I cannot look at anything except its hands. It's, I think it's also worse because his arms are... So, I, don't know, I guess his arms are kind of okay. But I don't... <laughs> There's just like fuzzballs at the end of them. <laughs> And then I start thinking about small hands, and I start thinking about Donald Trump, and it's just like a spiral for me when I see it. It's got so, the same hairstyle as well, kind of. Uh. Anyway. <laughs> so, we are very curious, though, for the listeners, what you guys would like to see in the DLC, and also maybe any guesses about what they might reveal before its launch in the first part in June. So we're getting pretty close. Yeah. Um, Potentially less than a month away now. Yep. Yep. And I believe the theme... Actually, we won't mention the Community Day theme because this podcast will be out after Community Day. Mm -hmm. But make sure to participate in Serbian Poke Jungle's Community (laughs) Day. Unofficial affiliation with my site. Joe will never say it, but he knows in his heart it's part my He knows it's true. Too. He knows it. <laughs> Just quickly going back to the conference, are there any sort of uh, spin-off titles that you'd like to see them try? Like, whether original or... Um, I would like... I I don't know about any original. I would really, really love to see some um, Animal Crossing crossover uh. stuff. <laughs> Because in be cool. in past titles, like they've had some, like you know, you could get the Master Sword or whatever, yeah. you know, and Mario items. So I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility, and I would really love to see that. Um, just as far as spinoffs go, I really want a Troze game that is not like the last one. I don't know if anyone played it, but like Shuffle, the last. Was it was it Shuffle? It was Troze something, and then it was totally different than the first game. I didn't like it. I was, didn't like the gameplay of the... F- it was on DS and what? mobile, right? They released it 3DS first, and then I think they did the mobile version. No, no, no. That, that was totally different. That was... Oh. That was... Yeah, there was... That was Pokemon Shuffle, and that actually came after, which I like the gameplay of that... So, okay, maybe I'm asking for a Switch version of Pokemon Shuffle, but like oh, not a free to play one. I take that. Like I hated the free to play aspect. Yeah, some sort of shuffle game would be good, but I'd also would. I know we just had a mystery dungeon. I'd love like a retro styled mystery dungeon. I don't know if they could somehow do that mobile free to play. I've got no idea. Okay. Free to play mystery dungeon would not be my <laughs> idea of what I'd want to play. Um, I but if you're saying 2D, like a 2D yes, mystery sprite, dungeon game sprite. for the Switch, that would totally be something that, I would love a D make like Pokemon D makes, like give us a 2D Pokemon game yeah. again, like not even color, just like black and white. I would so be into that. I'd also like Ranger, I love Ranger. Switch Ranger would be good with a stylus. Would you use your fingertip then? Well, no, they they they've got stylus support in the Switch like software now that like, you can turn it on and it increases the sensitivity of the touch screen. I don't know which game it's for, but I saw it yesterday. Oh, and I, yeah, it just made me think that I'd really love Ranger, a Ranger game. I. You know, the only thing, I'm just afraid that I would scratch my Switch. Like, I would never use a stylus yeah. on... Just because the Switch is a little bit more expensive than, like, the 3DS, and especially the DS was. You know, like, I want to keep it pristine as I can. But yeah, other than that, I don't really... I can't think of anything But I would. Like, I just want to find out if sleep is really <gasps> that big of a deal. Uh, I get, it. like, at least eight hours a night. It's pretty good. <laughs> But but now thinking about this, actually, what I'd really love to see, two games, I would love to see Pokemon TCG, like, three, 
And then I would also love to see another Pokemon pinball. Because I want to play Pokemon yes. Pinball, like, right now. Oh, I love Pokemon Pinball. And I feel like the Switch would be perfect for it, to be honest. It would be even better if they could somehow let you play it sideways. <laughs> yeah. Like, vertically? That would be pretty cool. Yeah. I was just thinking about that. That'd yeah, be that'd be awesome. I'd take that. Because, I mean, if you controlled the flippers with your fingers or something on the touchscreen and just held it, like, up and yeah, down. You don't even need to. Heck yes. Because, well, I, I guess even... Uh, a bit awkward, isn't it? The old pinballs were on a sort of square screen, so it was scrolling. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, what did you say? Oh, anyway. the trading card. You mean like the uh, the trading card game they had on the Game Boy, whatever else it was, right? Yeah, I did you ever play that? I saw that? a tweet the other day saying that it's actually pretty good, and it's something that a lot of people haven't played. It is so fun. I have to give it yeah. a go. It was... You, if I dare anyone to play that game and then not be like, wow, maybe I should play the Pokemon trading <laughs> card game because it just, it just is fun. You know, like, I don't know. It's the, um, there are, there are ways to play online right now. Sorry. But, um, it just doesn't capture like the fun of that yeah. game. Have you played the trading card game? Like online, the TCGO online much? Um, not much. No. Yeah. I've dabbled. I went through a phase, I would say. Yeah, I did back I was in like black and white curious, too. card curious. Yeah, is it, is it available on iPad? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I might have to download it and try this now. My experience with the app was just that it kind of loaded a little bit slowly um, and wasn't like as polished as something like, say, Hearthstone. Mm. Um, and I wish... I wish it would be because I think a lot of fans would enjoy it, and it, there's a lot to love about the trading card game. I mean, do you, have you collected the cards recently? Um, you know, like Switch? Rebel Clash just came out. Mm. I always buy like at least two or three packs, you know, yeah, um, per expansion just for the art. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't gone out to stores recently, and like I don't know. I don't buy the cards off Amazon because I've heard that, you know, people weigh those things and stuff. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, next time I'm on Target, though, I'll definitely pick a box. Or not a box, but like a, I don't know, booster. What's the most two. recent expansion in Japan? That's a good question for you. It is based on Center Scorch. Based around Center Scorch is the main theme, Fire stuff. Speaking of Center Scorch, I didn't, I thought I was going to... I don't know. I thought I was going to like it more. Uh, it's it just okay. hasn't it's been just, like the best. I just don't like the way it goes long. Meh. Well, actually, I do like the way it goes long. I don't like the way it makes that shape of the... I don't even know what that shape is supposed it's to be. It's like just twisted up. Yeah, when it sort of <laughs> does its move. That's just weird. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the parasites that actually come out of praying mantises after they die. That's disgusting. Yeah, but it totally happened to me. When my, I caught a praying mantis and when it died, literally, it came out of its butt. That's gross. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why you don't like it. But some of the cards in this are pretty cool. I don't know what if there are any like secret, secret, rares. secret rares. Like, um, well, I will say the Send Scorch G Max card is amazing. The V Max card right here. Yeah. It's just nice. I and also the know that VMAX Butterf Butterfree. What was his name in English? Is it still Kabu? I don't know. Oh, the fire yeah, the guy. fire drum leader. Yeah, he mm -hmm. he has a pretty good, like, full art card. Oh. Somewhere. I don't know, this stuff is too hard to find. But yeah. Yeah, I'm always, I always love the, the art of the cards, but never have actually played. At least with the physical cards I've ever played. Played online. What is the next set? Is that... Eternatus? This is, like, getting weirdly, like, long and <laughs> off topic yeah. a little bit. Just because we're, like, expanding from this topic. But that was weird in the games that you actually catch... However you want to pronounce it. Uh, before, like, the box legendary... Did you find that strange? Yeah. Did, did you use it? Uh, no, I, I didn't really use it, no. 
I think the only thing I used it for was like a few raid battles, and other than that, yeah. But no, that is kind of strange. Because I don't. It can't Gigantamax. No, it's just it can't. Can it even Dynamax? Don't I don't think, think so. so. No, it, it, it just. Yeah, no, it just stays as it is. Like, it's kind so, of they, they, because it has a Gigantamax form, doesn't it? You just can't ever use it. Because it would destroy humanity. Yeah. And it's like insanely powerful. Hopefully, if they're not if they're not planning on a third version because of the DLC, I'm really hoping they answer that in the DLC. Don't give us another XY thing. <laughs> I don't think I've caught the box legendary yet. Neither have I. Just pretend we did. <laughs> <laughs> We're not real fans. <laughs> Don't call us out on Twitter. <laughs> We're Animal Crossing fans now. <laughs> this is the uh, Isabel's weekly podcast. Anyway. Not much news today, but did you catch that show with the comedians in? How do they write all the jokes? <laughs> I, yeah, some of her lines I have memorized now. <laughs> anyway, I think that's all we have. Yeah, we'll be back in two weeks, hopefully with more news, hopefully with John, and then hopefully there has been some kind of press conference and we can react Yeah, off camera, but you can hear our voices probably screaming. Wow! I usually let out a high-pitched scream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to do mine. I'll let it be a surprise. <laughs> Tune in next time for this. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye.